Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, let's discuss first the concept of rational expressions or algebraic fractions. A quotient which appears in the form of m by m is a fraction. So we can say a fraction is any expression which appears in the form of a quotient like m upon n where we have these m and n represent any numbers or any expressions. The next we have the fractions having polynomials Numerator or denominator or both are called algebraic fractions or you can say rational expressions. Let's see some examples of algebraic fractions or rational expressions. Consider x minus 2 upon x square plus 4. This is in the form of a fraction and it has polynomials in both the numerator and the denominator. So it is called algebraic fraction or rational expression. In the same way, consider x square minus 5x plus 6 upon 3x square minus x plus 1. This is also a fraction having polynomials in both the numerator and the denominator. So this is algebraic fraction or rational expression. Now let's see the equality of algebraic fractions. When given two algebraic fractions A upon B and C upon D Now as they are the algebraic fractions so in these two the numerator or denominator or both would have polynomials and both these algebraic fractions that is a upon b and c upon d are equal if and only if we have ad is equal to bc. Next let's discuss simplification of algebraic fractions. An algebraic fraction is in the simplest form when the numerator and the denominator do not have common factor. So whenever we are given an algebraic fraction and the numerator and denominator of that algebraic fraction do not have a common factor, then we can say that it is the simplest form of the algebraic fraction. Let's consider the example in which we need to simplify x minus 3 upon x square minus 7x plus 12. So as you can see this is an algebraic fraction as it contains the polynomial in the numerator as well as in the denominator. And we need to simplify this algebraic fraction. 
So this means the numerator and the denominator should not have a common factor. As you can see, the numerator cannot be factorized further, but we can factorize the denominator. Now consider the denominator x square minus 7x plus 12. Let's factorize this by splitting the middle term. So it would be equal to x square minus 4x minus 3x plus 12. Taking x common from these two terms and minus 3 common from these two terms, we get this is equal to x into x minus 4 the whole minus 3 into x minus 4 the whole. So this is equal to x minus 3 the whole into x minus 4 the whole. So the given denominator can be written as x minus 3 the whole into x minus 4 the whole. And now the given algebraic fraction x minus 3 upon x square minus 7x plus 12 can be written as x minus 3 upon x minus 3 the whole into x minus 4 the whole. Now, as you can see, x minus 3 and x minus 3 cancel with each other. And so we are left with 1 upon x minus 4. And now, the numerator and denominator do not have a common factor. So, on simplifying the given algebraic fraction, we get 1 upon x minus 4. This is the simplified form of the given algebraic fraction. Now let's discuss the multiplication and division of algebraic fractions. Now to multiply algebraic fractions we multiply the numerators and the nominators separately and also we factorize the numerators and the nominators when necessary and we simplify the resulting algebraic fraction and to divide The algebraic fractions we multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal. of the second fraction. Let's consider an example where we need to simplify 16x cube upon x plus y divided by 4x upon x square minus y square. Now as you can see we need to divide these two algebraic fractions here. So as we know to divide the algebraic fractions we multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So this means this is the first fraction. So here we have 16x cube upon x plus y multiplied by the reciprocal of this fraction which would be x square minus y square upon 4x. 
and to multiply the red right fractions we need to multiply the numerators and denominators separately and also we can factorize the numerators and denominators in this case like we can say this x square minus y square can be written as x plus y the whole into x minus y so now this is equal to 16 x cube multiplied by the numerator of the second fraction which is simplified as x plus y the whole into x minus y the whole and this whole upon x plus y which is the denominator of the first fraction multiplied by the denominator of the second fraction which is 4x so we can easily simplify this algebraic fraction so obtain this x plus y cancels with x plus y and 4 4 times is 16 then this 1x cancels with 1x here and we are left with x square so this is equal to 4x square into x minus y the whole so on simplifying this we get 4x square into x minus y the whole now we should discuss addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions is done in the same way as we do in the case of the fractions which involves integers so in this case also we find the lcm that is the least common multiple or you can say lcd which is lowest common denominator of the polynomials in the denominators and we add or subtract accordingly consider the example in which we have to solve p plus q upon p plus p plus q upon q this means we need to add these two algebraic fractions for this first of all let us find the lcm of the denominators that is p and q so lcm of p and q is equal to pq thus p plus q upon p plus p plus q upon q is equal to writing the lcm here in the denominator that is pq now pq divided by p is q so we write q into p plus q the whole plus pq divided by q is p so p into p plus q the whole is written here and so this is equal to pq plus q square plus p square plus pq and this whole upon pq or we can further write this as p square plus 2pq plus q square and this whole upon pq or you can say p plus q the whole square upon pq thus on adding the two algebraic fractions given as p plus q upon p plus p plus q upon q we get p plus q the whole square upon pq so this is how the addition of two algebraic fractions is done in the same way we can subtract two algebraic fractions also so this completes the session hope you have understood the rational expressions or algebraic fractions their simplification their multiplication and division and their addition and subtraction